Then in an octave, in a, in a voice about two octaves higher than normal, she says, Help! Help! My underwear's hung on the horn! We were at this, uh, we were at this clinic and I had this intern and she wanted to, she was thinking about being a horse trainer. So she's, she wants to travel around with us a little bit and, and learn what it's like. And I'm like, yeah, sure. So we're at this clinic and it's an obstacle clinic and there's a lady there. Um, we'll just call her Nancy. So Nancy's there and, and uh, she has got a horse and this thing is like everybody's perfect horse. You pointed at something and it tries to do it. <clears throat> so she's, she's doing all the obstacles. And we have some pretty crazy obstacles. There's a cowboy curtain and there's, you know, I mean, there's some, there's some pretty, pretty good obstacles that are normally give them a little trouble. And she's, she's having a great time getting through them. And, and so she's thinking she's, it's pretty good. And she brought her grandson with her and her, she got her grandson a horse and, you know, it wasn't a bad horse, but it was off some dude string or something. And this thing would, would go forward and kind of follow another horse, but you know, like it wasn't, didn't, it wasn't interested in doing anything, anything else. And, and so we spent quite a bit of time getting this horse where it would actually go through some obstacles. And after a little while, we got it to go over a log and over a bridge. And you know, that was a big accomplishment for that horse. And the kid, he's ah, 12, 13, something like that. And he's, he's just beginning riding. So, you know, it's hard for him to figure out how to kick and not pull on the reins at the same time. And so it's, it's a little bit of trying to get both of them matched up. So we, we finally get them so that they're, they're accomplishing some things now. And, and so anyway, there was, we had a teeter-totter there and the teeter-totter is a foot and a half high, something like that in the middle and big bridge planks and pretty long. And uh, some people were going over there. Well, this kid, he gets, gets a little bored going over the bridge and over the logs and weaving in between the cones. And he decides he wants to try the teeter-totter. And I go, nope, that's probably too much for your horse and you today. So, you know, maybe tomorrow, let's, let's try the teeter-totter tomorrow. And he decides he's gonna go do it anyway. And I'm like, oh. So yourself. So he goes over there and he tries it and this horse thinks it's a bridge and so he's gone over the bridge several times and he gets up in there and as soon as that thing moves, his horse leaves and he's like, nope, not gonna do it. So he tries to get it back on there again, try it again and now his horse is like, nope, I'm not getting on anything that's wooden. Pretty sure you're gonna try to kill me. So he's like, not gonna do it. Well, his grandma comes over there and, and um, you know, she's, you know, fairly, fairly, looks like fairly physically fit. Um, and, you know, nothing, nothing unusual. And she says, I'll, I'll show you how to get that horse to go over that. And I think, well, that's pretty ambitious, you know, I mean, well, I might need to watch this one because, you know, this could be some, some entertaining watching. And so she climbs on there and, and, you know, like I say, she had a really good horse. And so, you know, she wasn't maybe the best rider, but you know, her horse kind of helped her out. And she, she points this horse to the tear totter and he was like, like, no, not no, but H-E double hockey sticks, no. Like, we're not gonna. And she rears back and she punches this thing with both spurs. And he kind of gives a little surprise and he kind of gives a little, little hop, little crow hop. And she knows what to do when one starts to really get with it and bronk. You're supposed to grip one rein. So she gets short on the, the right rein and she gives it a good old pull. And this thing obediently starts to turn in a, in a pretty tight circle. And she's already a little bit, little bit over, right? And so this thing just starts spinning and she looks like, you know, kind of like one of those turds in the toilet bowl. She just keeps going down in the well. You know, it just kind of... And I think I should probably go help her out. So I go over there and at least kind of catch the horse. And I get up close to her and she is doing the most impressive fender drag I have seen. She is planked out. Her feet are sticking out there past the tail and she has got her hand up on the mane and she is like straight. And I'm like, that's impressive. Like I did not think she had it in her, like that's, that's athleticism right there. And I get up there and I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty dang good. And, and then in an octave, in a, in a voice about two octaves higher than normal, she says, help, help, my underwear's hung on the horn. 
And she, when it, when it kind of gave that little crop, she has got her underwear band hung on the horn. And when she came off, she is now getting a reverse wedgie. So she is suspended by the front waistband of her underwear and she is hanging parallel on the horn. And so I'm like, wow, that's a, that's a problem there. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get her off. And my first thought was just whip out the old pocket knife and just, just cut her free. And I thought, oh, that might not be very good. And so anyway, I reached down there and I kind of grabbed her hand and I reached down there and I pick up the waistband and I pop it off the horn and she just <laughs> hits the ground. And when she gets up, uh, she had had some, I don't know, Spanx or some sort of spandex underwear kind of thing on there. And it is kind of, kind of fell down and, and, and then everything that it was kind of holding has now been redistributed. And now it looks more like a, there's like a little bulge there in the middle, like kind of like when you poke a bra, you know, and it just kind of, so anyway, um, she was, she was very glad to be un, un, uh, suspended from her underwear, but yeah. So we get done with that and I'm, and I walk back over there and the, our intern, she was, she was a very modest, you know, pretty, pretty naive girl. And I said, you know, just another day in the life of horse or some days you're just going to pick some girl's underwear up off the horn and kind of. Another day in the life of a horse trainer. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Horse Stories on Global Horse Network. We'd like to thank this month's sponsor, Snafflebit Clothing Company, for all your horse and apparel needs. Visit them on the web at snafflebitclothingcompany.com. If you like what we're doing or you don't, make sure that you put it in the comments below because there's nothing I like better than to aggravate somebody like a sand burr under your saddle pad. Be sure to share our stuff on all the social media platforms because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Be sure to subscribe if you like what we're doing. If you want to be notified whenever we're posting new content and some kick stuff, click on the notification bell. If you like what we're doing, click the like button. If you hate what we're doing, click that bad boy twice because there's nothing that I enjoy more than a good hater. And as always, ride hard, be safe, and have fun.